Josh Fierstein here. You know, it would be so easy to see people's problems if they were simply able to wear their symptoms on the outside. But the reality is when it comes to hurts of the heart, when it comes to things going on on the inside of us, these are things that we learn how to mask and how to disguise because we don't want to show anybody our weakness because we live in a society that values strength. How much easier would it be if we could spot the symptoms of people that were down and depressed and suicidal? You know, the reality is there's people that you walk around every single day, whether you work with them or go to school with them or are friends with them or even family members, people that are going through things that they would never admit to you simply because you didn't ask. Or if you did ask, you really didn't mean it. In fact, it hit me like a ton of bricks the other day right in the face. The conviction fell heavy on me when the words simply slipped out of my mouth. Hey, man, what's up? How you doing? And the reality was I didn't care. Because I didn't stop and wait long enough for him to answer before it was high and by and on to the next. You see, we live in a world that is so disconnected, disconnected from each other. And because we're disconnected from each other, how can we find strength in numbers when nobody seems to to care? I challenge you today to care. You know, it may not seem like such a humongous thing, but the reality is we could change the world one person at a time. In fact, the old adage simply says this, to the world you may be one person, but to one person you may be the world. Who in your life right now is depressed or down or contemplating suicide. You know, the reality is one out of every five people think about suicide at some point in their life. Uh I bet you didn't know that. I bet you didn't realize that probably in your life right now, there's five or six people at least that you know that are considering it, but maybe you could prevent it. Maybe you could stop it if, if you just cared enough to sit down and talk and connect with somebody. I challenge you to do that today. In fact, oftentimes, all people ever need is an invitation. I recently talked to a Marine. I challenged him to do something very, very similar. He put it out on his Facebook. If anybody needs to talk or wants me to pray for them, just inbox me. He said, I had no idea that over 25 of my friends privately inboxed me just wanting to talk to somebody. I bet that you have the same amount of friends around you that need somebody just to simply confide in, somebody to sit down with, somebody to simply care. So I'm asking you to make that invitation right now by simply clicking share on the side of the bottom of this video, but don't just share. Add in the message box, hey, I'm willing to talk, message me. Maybe it is that somebody in your timeline, your newsfeed, or your friends list is on the very edge of one of the most horrible, awful, horrific decisions of their life and you could stop them. You could be their hero by simply reaching out. So please click share on the side of the bottom of this video. As always, like and comment below. If you're not my friend already on Facebook, click my name at the top of the video, and let's be friends. God bless, and have a very, very beautiful day.